Okay, so it's recording now. So I'll I'll stay quiet. Hi, Go. Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen. Tell me, how has smoking affected your life? Well, I've been a smoker since I was fifteen, right. and I used to run for school. Gosh. And then I started smoking, and I lost everything. I lost cross country running. So right. from that point, then I carried on smoking. It was one a day, then two mm -hmm. a day, <coughs> and then twenty a day until I got to fifty nine. Right. Long time then. Yeah. Oh yeah, a lot of years. <laughs> and I developed COPD. Gosh. Whereas it, for me, I couldn't even change my bed. I went out of breath, but then as soon as I changed my bed, I'd go in the living room and sit down and have a cigarette and a right. cup of coffee. And walking, I couldn't walk up the stairs, I couldn't walk my dog. So it affected me a lot, but because I was smoking, didn't realise. Because that, to me, sounds like a very different person to that person that you described that was athletic, yeah. doing everything. Oh yeah, I mean I was fit and healthy, mm. but at 15 you want to get in with the gang and you go behind the streets sure. and you have a cigarette like all your friends do. And then I think, I've seen loads of adverts on television and I kept thinking, oh good, no smoking. Mm. But me aren't wanting it. But right. I went and I tried different things and I just went home and I just thought, oh, it's not going to work that and carried on smoking. So then I bought a dog, I thought that would get me out, so I bought this dog and after about six months of me having him, he got this yellow streak down his head and I thought what's happened there with him, why has he got this yellow, so I took him to the vet thinking there was something wrong yeah. and the vet said to me, you smoke, I said yes, yeah. well that's nicotine Wow. on the dog <laughs> and I couldn't believe it, I just could not believe that the nicotine yeah. had gone to the dog and the dog was not breathing good and she says your dog's suffering because of your mm. smoking. So I made again then I thought, oh I'll stop smoking. Mm. So I rang up and made an appointment and never went. I thought, oh, I'll come next time. Yeah. Carried on. But when I got the C O P D then, the doctor said, If you want to be in here come here in ten years, you need to stop or I'm not gonna be around. So I got a grandson then. Yeah. So I thought, right, you're gonna have to stop. So I rang the no smoking and made me appointment. And I went, and then I got took into hospital. So while I'm in hospital, I thought, oh, God, I'm doing this in hospital. Mm. So I got a drip in one hand and a drip in the other hand. And I said to the nurse, I'm just going outside for some fresh air. She said, okay. I went down, I'm in the taxi. With the drips in, the taxi took me to the hospital. And then, when we got to the, up to the dock, to the shop, about 26, come back to the hospital, sit outside, two days, smoking and after I thought what have you done that for you've done a week that you're no smoking and now you've done this so I came out of hospital and came straight back to no smoking <coughs> came back to no smoking clinic and started again and when I first came me I blew and walked to get with 22 right. which I didn't know what that meant but it's quite high for yeah, a smoker it is. and now I blow two Brilliant. Which is big for me a big difference, and in the meantime, I've been on holidays. I've saved money. It's unbelievable the things that I've done in the last seven months. I've been on two holidays. Right. I bought a new suite. I bought new carpets. I've laminated my flat. My life's just totally changed. I can walk better. I can breathe better. I'm not coughing, yeah. and all that is to do with spending ten pound a day on twenty cigarettes that you burn and throwing in ashtray. And when you look at it. There's not there for your money. Just a cough and a... So it sounds like you're becoming the person who you were meant to be. Oh, yeah. Without I that wish in your life. If I could have turned the clock back now, mm. and we're 15 again, I'd still be running. I wouldn't have made them... That's a regret that I do regret from right. running at school. Okay. And not doing anything with my life then. Just right. spending all my money on cigarettes. All right, then. So... <coughs> You've clearly made a lot of changes. What advice would you give to someone who's currently living with a long-term respiratory condition like COPD? If they're a smoker, then my advice is go to the no smoking and stick at it. Right. Because it does work. Right. And you need to be mindset to do it. It's no point you saying, I'll do it tomorrow, because that tomorrow never comes. Okay. And you never get around to doing it. But you will... Unless you're there, it's very hard to explain it. But for me, mm. I just I can breathe in and out without rolling. 
whereas I could have before. So if you do smoke and you've got COPD, there's no cure for it. It's not going to get any better. Mm -hmm. But no, stopping smoking is not going to make it any worse. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the thing. I mean, Just one more question. What benefit did you get from attending the sessions with the Stop Smoking Service? Well, it were the other people that were there right. and also the counsellors. It were a group and we all got on. Right. And we all discussed his problems and we were all going through the same thing. Sure. The withdrawals. Oh, you sit there you think, oh, I could just kill a cigarette or I could just... Mm. And everybody were feeling the same thing. Right. Whereas when you do it on your own, you don't get that feeling, you don't get that support. So the group is a good supportive So again, group. that'd be something yeah. that you'd perhaps recommend. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Go right. to no smoking groups. Yeah. And whether it's a bus ride away or not, it's worth going to do it. Great. And you feel so pleased with yourself at the end of one week when you know you haven't had a cigarette. And you go the week after and you blow that number two or zero. Mm -hmm. It just, well, for me, I'm just so, I buzz, I buzz all the time when I think about it. Yeah. So it, it makes me on a high. Because yeah. I think, oh, 22 and now I'm blowing two. And two is a normal, suppose, normal for anybody. I mean, for a non-smoker or a smoker. It is, definitely. So I would advise a lot of people, if you want wanting to stop smoking, go to the dust smoking classes Brilliant. and stick at it. Okay, so you'll have had the carbon monoxide oh, test yes. done with this machine. Um, so, um, as I said, um, probably carbon monoxide, as you remember, is one of the 4,000 chemicals mm. that they take oh, yes. with tobacco smoke. Um, it reduces your oxygen levels um, in your blood and so contributes to your, your breathlessness yeah. and you're not being able to do activities. So did you find this quite useful um, when, yeah. when you came to each session? Um, do you want to have a have a check of yours now? I certainly do. Yes, I so certainly do. Before you were off the top of the chart. Oh yeah, we're up as a heavy to. smoker. Yeah. So that was affecting your well being. Yeah. You were struggling um, when you were walking distances yeah. upstairs. That I struggled to thing. change your bed cover. Right, as you said. You know? Yep. So. So let's have a look and see what it is today. How long have you not smoked for? To Second now? of February, I stopped. Excellent. So. And I wouldn't thank you to give me a cigarette. And yet I've had people ask me and try. Right. Go and have a cigarette sitting out. Okay. It's, it's not worth it. It really isn't. So as before, you want to take yeah, a breath I can't remember now. It's that long since it's... So, and then wait until it's down to zero and then give it a good blow. And so anything up to six on the chart is a non-smoker. Stop when you're ready. Wow. That's enough is that. A perfect zero. <laughs> <laughs> See how good that is. That is such an amazing... You know, I'm so... Really, really, you can't explain how I feel about this inside. Because from that to that, it's... For me, it's... It sounds like one of the best changes yeah. that you've oh, made in your yeah, life. Oh, yeah, without... Yeah, there's no doubt. Style. I'd never go back to it. Never. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, it's lovely to hear your story yeah. about your journey with stopping smoking. Yeah. Well done. Well, there you go. Thank you very much.